Do narcissists ever acknowledge their mistakes in relationships? Taking accountability for their actions. Have you ever wanted your narcissistic ex to own up to their behavior? It's understandable, but accountability is rare. The truth is, blame shifting. Mistakes get justified or denied. Validation seeking. Any admission serves their needs, not remorse. Rary. Even if owned briefly, it's quickly dismissed. I wished for years he'd take responsibility for how he hurt me. Don't expect meaningful accountability from narcissists. Focus on your own healing instead. After the relationship ended, I was haunted by how my narcissistic ex refused to own up to any of the ways he hurt me. His lies and infidelity left me broken, my self-worth destroyed. I ruminated endlessly on how he shifted blame, portraying himself the victim despite his wrongdoings. All I wanted was for him to genuinely acknowledge the harm he caused, but true accountability never came. Narcissists avoid admitting their mistakes and flaws at all costs. They'll twist narratives to justify themselves rather than own their behavior. Any temporary admission of fault quickly dissolves into excuses, finger pointing, or dismissal. For them, acknowledging wrongs is solely about garnering validation not expressing remorse. Gradually, I realized I had to let go of him ever genuinely owning up to the pain he inflicted. I desperately wanted the relationship to have profoundly mattered to him as it did to me, but it simply didn't. I had to stop seeking accountability from someone incapable of empathy and instead nurture my spirit with support from people who truly valued me, scars and all. It was a difficult journey, but I emerged wiser and more empowered. Can a narcissist ever empathize with the pain they've caused? Standing their emotional capacity. Have you ever agonized over whether your narcissist could truly understand your pain? Empathy is possible, but exceedingly rare. The truth is, patched, they struggle relating to others' emotions. Deflection, own discomfort gets avoided. Performative, sympathy may be feigned, not felt. Rare epiphanies, brief moments of clarity do happen impermanent. Empathy quickly yields to old patterns. I spent years craving true empathy from him over the anguish he caused. Don't expect narcissists to demonstrate real, lasting empathy. Focus on finding validation from those who can. After the relationship ended, I constantly agonized over whether my narcissistic ex would ever truly grasp the pain he caused me. His emotional abuse left me hollowed out, my self-worth destroyed. I desperately wished for him to understand and sit with the distress he created to show real empathy. But from him, that seemed impossible. Narcissists struggle to relate to others' emotions in a genuine way. They deflect and avoid their own discomfort let alone understanding someone else's. Any sympathy they demonstrate is often calculated and fleeting, not heartfelt. In rare moments, some gain brief clarity into the suffering they've caused. But lacking self-awareness, old patterns quickly resume. Developing lasting empathy requires vulnerability and ego death that few narcissists can endure. Gradually, I realized I had to let go of wanting his validation and stop trying to elicit empathy empathy from someone devoid of it. I had to nurture the relationships where I truly felt seen and heard. Although rediscovering my self-worth has been an ongoing challenge, I'm slowly learning to validate myself on my own terms by surrounding myself with people capable of compassion who remind me I deserved better all along. Do narcissists regret losing relationships that offered them validation? Missing their sources of supply. Have you ever wondered if your narcissist misses the validation you provided? Most do mourn the loss. The truth is, adulation, losing their worship is felt. Utility, no more favors or boosts to status stings. Ego, any threat to their self-image bothers them. Intermittent, they go through cycles of missing supply sources. Self-focused, it's about their needs, not love. I tortured myself, wondering if he missed how I boosted 
boosted his ego. Narcissists commonly regret losing sources of praise and utility, not emotional bonds. You deserve more. After it ended, I constantly agonized over whether my narcissistic ex missed all the validation I gave him in the relationship. I provided endless adulation, not to mention utility through favors, his status. Losing that steady supply left me shattered. While he seemed unfazed, I desperately wondered if he missed propping himself up on my praise and assistance. But I realized his capacity to miss me almost certainly stemmed from losing his ego boosts, not genuine connection. Narcissists covet relationships that provide overflowing affirmation of their superiority and importance. Losing that constant feeding of their ego is felt deeply. The practical perks, being showered with gifts, favors, help achieving their goals. Intermittently, they do go through cycles of missing their lost supply sources when they're feeling especially low. But it's about craving their needs being met, not missing the person out of care or love. Ultimately, I had to accept he only valued me as a prop for his ego, not a real partner. I deserved someone who would miss my soul when I was gone, I brought. Although healing has been a journey, I've found peace knowing my worth exists with or without validation from him. Do narcissists regret losing partners who provided emotional support? Missing their caregivers. Have you wondered if your narcissist misses the support you provided? Losing caregivers affects them. The truth is, destabilizing. No more emotional bolstering is felt. Practical, lacking help with needs, creates distress. Intermittent, they go through cycles of missing ex-partners. Poor substitutes, replacement supplies are often inferior. Not about love. Love. They miss not having needs met. I agonized over whether he felt my absence caring for him. Narcissists commonly miss useful ex-partners. You deserve mutually supportive bonds. After the relationship ended, I constantly wondered if my narcissistic ex felt any regret over losing me as his caregiver and supporter. I had endlessly provided emotional support, validating him whenever his fragile ego was threatened. I also took care of practical needs and soothed any insecurities. Losing that constant bolstering left me devastated while he seemed to move on seamlessly. I desperately hoped he might miss my presence as his soft place to fall, but I realized he was likely more affected by the loss of utility than any genuine emotional connection. Losing caretakers destabilizes narcissists. Ex-partners often provided a rare sense of comfort and assistance. They struggle to find L cycles of missing useful former supplies are common when new sources fail to adequately fill the voids left behind. But any longing is for the functions those people served, not reciprocal love or concern. It's distress over having needs go unmet, not missing intimate bonds. Ultimately, I had to accept he valued our relationship for comfort and validation, not mutual growth and support. I deserve a partner who will be emotionally present for me as I am for them. Although that insight was painful, choosing more nourishing bonds has gifted me joy and peace I'd forgotten was possible. 